Hello, you are welcome to Football Theatre YouTube channel. And in today's news, we are going to talk about um, Eduardo Mendy and Kepa Ariza Balaga, who should be Chelsea's number one coach. This has been a topic for almost two months now, since the Senegalese top started performing poorly. But then, um, a new manager came in the name of Grand Porter after Todd Boli sacked Thomas Tuchel. Unlucky for Edward Mandy, he got injured. Whilst um, prior to the first game of Grand Porter. So, in the past two games, or let me say three games, Kepa has been in the polls. For the blues now edward mandy has returned from his injury and according to grand porter he will be in the first team squad tomorrow so now that edward mandy is available who should be changes number one in the pre-match conference ahead of um, the ac milan game our coach, Grand Potter, gave us a hint of who will be in the post when you do a deeper analysis of it. But then I would like to quote him verbatim, and afterwards, I will give you a detailed insight about what he exactly means. Now, when they asked Grand Potter, he said, If you look at what we have over the next six weeks, it is an incredible schedule. I'm in no rush to label anyone number one or number two. I want to help Kepa to enjoy football and help Mendy get fit and ready to play. In an ideal world, and I repeat, in an ideal world, you want football to decide. We have got two ones we trust and that's a good situation for us so now after deeper analysis of the statement i can confidently say that our gaffer grand porter actually loves kepa ariza balaga to be our number one short stopper because of the statement I want to help Kepa enjoy football and help Mendy get fit and ready to play. Getting ready to play means that whenever you are being called, you should be ready to be in the post. You understand? So it means that Kepa will be our number one stopper. That's what that's my understanding though. But one other factor that made me believe that. This my interpretation is right is because in Grand Porter system, he always wants to build from the back. And building from the back means you need goalkeepers who are very good on the ball. So when you go to Brighton, he was having Robert Sanchez as the goalkeeper. And that man was very good on the ball. He even assisted some of his players, and even in this particular season, he was the one who gave the long ball to Cucurella before he passed the ball to, is it Trossard or somebody like that, to score the final goal, to help them win at the Old Trafford, 2-1. You understand? So Kepa having good ball distribution skills, then Eduardo Mende even give him an advantage. However, I believe that maybe next summer, Chelsea will opt to go for another good goalkeeper in the name of Robert Sanchez from Ever uh, from Brighton, because um, Grandpa is one who also values height, and when you look carefully, Robert Sanchez is 1.97 meters tall, as against Eduardo Mendy of 1.96 meters. Um, Kepa is is Kepa is not even close to 1.90, so definitely it means that. When we took height into consideration, 
Kepa is not a preferred goalkeeper to Grand Porter. Yeah. But I think that um, when opposition players press us too much, we have to be able to still beat their press. And in this case, Kepa and Balaga will be the best.